Hi there, welcome back to ArachnaTube. Thanks for joining me again. This is something well cool, man. Remember the fishing spider? I've got something to show you and I'm gonna set it up again. So please, before we start to watch this, make sure to subscribe to this channel, share it, and if you want any jumping spiders, uh, and you're in the UK, pick me up, and uh, check the website out. Okay, I know you can't see anything there, but you will be able to see something now once I Zoom in, and then turn the light on. Oh, okay, we're moving up. There we are, you can see it there. That is Dolomedes with a big egg sack. Now these are prolific mothers. So they lay maybe five, six, seven egg sacks in a row. So um, there's going to be absolutely tons and tons of babies. Now, what we'd normally do in this kind of situation would be remove the female and the egg sac from this into something with no holes in it at all, so that you don't lose the, the babies when they disperse. But I've got a nifty little way to keep them with mum. I know, Frankus, it doesn't involve women's tights. <laughs> Alright, so first thing I'm going to have to do is clear a shelf in the back. Let's pop the glass back on here. Right, now if you think about it, right, these are mesh. They're very thin and normal tarantula spidling wouldn't be able to get out of that or get out of this mesh here or even the gaps there. But Dolomedi spiderlings are absolutely tiny, they might grow in size. So what we're going to do is, uh, I was toying with the idea, I thought I could like tape up this, but then all of a sudden you're messing with the ventilation, so that's out of the case. Again, Frankus Lee is completely right, you could wrap the whole thing in ladies tights. That works, but this time I'm not going to do it because I've got spare of these Pyramantis butterfly nets, you know, that kind of stuff, so I'm going to um, pop this on the shelf, this shelf here, and then pop this inside this, and then not only will this mesh be too small for any of the uh, slings to get through, I'll also be able to have easy access to be able to film inside for you guys so that you can see um, when all the babies disperse and you can see them feeding and stuff and hopefully we can carry that going as a bit of a a bit of a series, a bit of a feature on the channel. Also I'll be able to stick the live camera in there, the webcam. So I, it's a win-win situation for me. So let's get that done now. Right, so I'm going to pop the plastic on the bottom so if any spillage of water or anything doesn't destroy my shelves. Now then, this is the, the 
then you've got to be very, very super careful not to stir her too much. Zips up. Studio engineering at its finest. Sound. Oh. That's gonna be so cool, isn't it? All right, sound. Again, please subscribe to the channel, man. You're doing me massive, massive uh, favor. You know, the support has been great. Uh, if you fancy buying any merch, uh, go over to uh, www.rackonatube.com forward slash merch. There is a Patreon if you want to subscribe. Uh, but most importantly, guys, keep watching this because you're the guys that keep the lights on in the spider room. Cheers. Take care now.